Many people misunderstand in the present controversy over ordination the role of the worldwide Seventh-day Adventist body in deciding who in fact is qualified to be ordained. Many people have this idea that because union conferences are the bodies responsible for selecting people to be ordained to the gospel ministry, that therefore union conferences are able to make their own determinations as to who is or is not eligible. But this is quite wrong in terms of what in fact world church policy declares on this point. Let's try to remember, for example, that when it comes to the discipline of local church members, there is only one body that decides what the conditions under which this is to take place in fact are. And that book happens to be the Seventh-day Adventist Church Manual. That book is voted upon and its clauses and its conditions are decided upon by the worldwide Seventh-day Adventist body in General Conference assembled. And the same thing holds true regarding the conditions for ordination. The worldwide Adventist body is the only body eligible to make these determinations. They are found in the General Conference working policy, in the different division working policies, but all of those must be in harmony. They cannot vary one from another. That is not permitted when it comes to this issue. Many don't stop and consider that if the world body were to permit union conferences, as some of them have lately dared to do, to define their own rules for ordaining individuals to the gospel ministry, that would essentially codify the various contending viewpoints with regard to biblical understanding. And the worldwide Seventh-day Adventist Church can never abide that. Under no circumstances can we have different approaches to biblical interpretation codified into church policy in different parts of the world. That would destroy the unity that Jesus prayed for in John chapter 17. In John chapter 17, many people like to focus on verse 21 where Jesus prays that they all may be one. And that is a beautiful verse. But before Jesus prays that his followers be one, he prays in verse 17 and verse 19 that they be sanctified through his Father's word of truth. Sanctification through God's holy word, according to Jesus, is the only legitimate path to church unity.